Hello people, as some of you already know, in July I'm going to attempt to paddle an inflatable kayak 150 to 160 miles across the width of Great Britain from Hull to Liverpool. And the problem we've come up against is training for it. Weekends are cool, got so many drives, not a problem, you can get out on the canals and train. I don't drive myself, so during the week I can't get out on the water. So I started looking online and I started looking at kayak ergo meters, I think they're called, which is basically a kayak row machine. And I looked online and they cost between 1,000 to 2,000 pounds. And for me, that's just not feasible and out of question. So the problem I had is, can I make one for nothing? So I started looking into it, started researching it a little bit, and I thought I'd give it a go. And this is my take on a kayak ergometer. Enjoy. So this is what I came up with. A scaffold board kayak ergometer. And it basically is exactly what I said, scaffold board. We have one scaffold board, two pieces of scaffold board chopped off and just literally screwed both ends. Bit of scrap scaffold board that I've just screwed onto there as a footrest. I've then got an old kayak seat, put some screws in the side of the scaffold board, just attach the seat to it so that it doesn't move. And I've got a little bit of a backrest there. And then the same on the back, the seat just comes down, a couple of screws just to make it sturdy. So yeah, that's the kayak. I've rounded off the edges a little touch on the stands or the supports, because then that way, when I'm paddling, hopefully it's gonna rock a little bit so I can get a little bit of core training as well. All right, moving on. For a paddle, we have one broomstick, simple. From the broomstick, we have some climbing rope attached. Climbing rope goes up to a pulley, which is connected to my wall. Rope comes down, I've got five kilogram weight on the bottom, and that's just for making it feel like the paddle's going in the water. So yeah, there you have it. My take on a kayak ergometer that would normally cost between one to two thousand pounds, which for me is just not feasible. And this didn't cost me anything. If anyone else has got any ideas how I could make this better, then drop a line in the comments because I'd be more than happy to take on board some extra designs but yeah it's all cool use this three times a week and um it'd be better than not doing anything at all so more than happy i'll let you know how it goes bye